The transpose rows component uses the list ag SQL function, which is an aggregation function that transforms data from multiple rows into a single list of values separated by a specified delimiter. Multiple rows are combined into a single output row. Each row in the output holds the aggregated data in an array. The transpose columns component reshapes data by outputting multiple rows for each individual input row. Each set of input columns are mapped to an output column. The output rows are labelled to determine which column the value originated from. In this example, we'll be using the transform rows component to transform a table of product data so we can see an item's price breakdown pivoted into separate columns. Then, using the transform columns component, reverse the process to transpose the separated columns back into separate rows of product data. To achieve this, a table input component has been used to load a table of product cost data, a subset of which will be used for transformation. We'll be using the transpose rows component to output all the pricing measures of an item into a single row. We can view a sample of the untransformed data by clicking on the sample tab while the table input component is selected and pressing the refresh data button. To add a transpose rows component to your job, drag it onto the canvas from the component dropdown. You can find transpose rows under Components, Data, Transform, or by typing transpose rows into the search bar. Then connect the table input component to the transpose rows component by dragging a connector from the table input component to the transpose rows component. To edit the transpose rows properties, click on the properties tab while the component is selected. The groupings property defines the source columns to group by. As we are producing all the pricing measures per product, we'll select the product number. To do this, select the columns for grouping and press the right arrow button. When you're done, click OK. The output will have one row for every combination of grouping column values. Next, we need to change the aggregations property. Here, we select the input columns to aggregate by. Press the right arrow button to add the aggregation. We'll select value. And when you're done, click OK. Other properties include delimiter, where you can choose the delimiter for the output data, Sort order is for sorting the data by a specific column. This is important, so the output is always ordered in the same way. For this example, we'll order by measure. Null replace is used to automatically replace null values. And distinct aggregate removes duplicate aggregations. To check the output of the transpose rows component, navigate to the sample tab and press the refresh data button. Here we can see all the measures, RRP, cost price and margin per item, separated by commas. If required, you can use a split field component after the transpose rows component to turn the delimited strings into a set of new columns. Next, we'll use the transpose columns component to map sets of input columns into new output columns. This effectively performs an unpivot on the data. This component reshapes data by outputting multiple rows for each individual input row. Each set of input columns are mapped to an output column. The output rows are labelled to determine which column the value originated from. Add a transpose columns component to your job by dragging it onto the canvas from the component dropdown. You can find transpose columns under Components, Data, Transform, or by typing transpose columns in the search bar. Then drag a connector from your input component to the transpose columns component. In this case, a split field component. Then we need to set the transpose columns properties. Navigate to the properties tab while the transpose columns component is selected. In the ordinary columns property, choose columns that are not going to be transposed but are still required in the output. These are effectively a set of grouping columns which are passed to the output unchanged. For this example, we'll select product number. Next is the row label name. Provide the name of the new column here. 
As we're transposing three measure columns back into one, we'll name this measure. Output columns specifies the name and data type for the output columns. This is used to validate that the input columns all conform to the type of the output column. We'll add an output column name of value and type text. Next is column to row mapping, which is used to map the transposed columns into rows. Each defined output column will appear as a column in this mapping. Add a row to this grid for each input column you want to map into an output column. When you map data into multiple output columns, there should be a set of similar input columns for each output column. For example, we'll name our measures the same as the columns they will be transposing data from. Cost price equals cost price, margin equals margin, and RRP equals RRP. To check the output of the transpose columns component, navigate to the sample tab and press the refresh data button. Here we can see the data with a separate row for the three transpose columns per product. For full documentation on either the transpose rows or transpose columns component, you can go to the help tab on either component or visit the Matillion documentation site.